Okay, let's spend some time talking about the best C++ IDEs. Now, when it comes to coding in C++, of course, this is a little different coding than in something like JavaScript or even Python, where you might have to have a Python interpreter, we need a browser to run your JavaScript with C++, you can actually need a C++ compiler because it's a compiled language. So you might need something like GCC, which is a GNU compiler, or Clang, in order to build and compile and run your programs. So, of course, once you've got that set up, you can then focus on picking the best IDE for you. Now, which IDE should you choose for coding in C++? Like most languages, there are multiple choices and there are many opinions over which is the best. Let's begin by focusing on what I think is probably the best fit for most people if they want the most all-round, well-suited IDE for C++. For many people, the go-to for coding in C++ will be Visual Studio. Now, this is from Microsoft, and let's not get it confused with Visual Studio Code. These are different animals. Visual Studio is a full IDE, and VS Code is more of a code that turns a lightweight. Similar idea, but it's not the same thing. Visual Studio, developed by Microsoft, is often the first choice for C++ developers, especially if you're working on Windows, of course. Now, one of the great things about Visual Studio is that it has comprehensive tools. You get a rich set of features, including advanced debugging, code completion and project management. And of course, it comes with an integrated compiler. So you get the built-in Microsoft C++ compiler, making your setup even more straightforward. And you get extensive libraries and support for Windows-specific APIs, making it ideal for desktop applications, which is really great if you want to develop desktop applications in C++, which is one of the great use cases for coding in that language, of course, among many other things. Um, of course, you also get the option of community and pro editions. That means that with a community edition, which is free, you can trial it out and get an idea of what it's like. So if you're a student or you're just getting started in C++ and you want to see what Visual Studio is like, using the free edition is a great way to wet your feet in that environment. And I would highly recommend that if you're interested in Visual Studio. But of course, that isn't the only option. And whilst I like Visual Studio and I think it's a great and a solid choice for people who are new to C++, it isn't the only thing you could consider. Let's now think about C Lion from JetBrains. Now, C Lion is a powerful alternative. If you've heard of JetBrains before, they develop all sorts of IDEs in multiple languages. They're well known for PyCharm, IntelliJ IDEA, which is great for Java. So they are really well known when it comes to IDEs and they make fantastic software. Now, the good thing about C Lion is that you get cross-platform support, which means it can work across Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. I really like this. This is a fantastic feature. For somebody who's a Linux user like myself, it's nice to see software that will work with Linux. Sometimes with things like Visual Studio, which is well suited to Windows, not a Windows user, it's not maybe going to be the best choice. You also get smart code assistance with intelligent code completion, refactoring, and on-the-fly code analysis to keep your code base clean and efficient. This is really cool. You also get CMake support, which is a build system, and it's highly configurable and widely used in the C++ community. And you get integration with the GDB or LDB debuggers, which is a great way to take an in-depth inspection of your code at runtime. If you're a C++ developer and you start to get serious, these are important features that you'll really appreciate. Now, another great option that you have is Eclipse, but specifically Eclipse CDT. Now, you may have heard of Eclipse when it refers to coding in Java, because a lot of people like Eclipse as their go-to for Java because it's an open source and free IDE, and it's got really deep roots in the Java community. But when it comes to C++, Eclipse CDT is also a great and powerful option, especially, again, if you like something that's open source, that's backed by a really big community. Let's take a closer look at what this is like now. So with Eclipse CDT, you get an extensive plugin ecosystem. This is one of the hallmarks of Eclipse, really, that you can highly customize your IDE with plugins for your own functionalities that make sense to your projects. It also works cross-platform, which means you can work on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Again, love this because for me, working on Linux makes it really great for me to be able to use a software that's also popular on more mainstream OSs like Windows and Mac. Project management is also a really great feature in Eclipse, which means it's good for supporting large projects and complex builds. And you obviously can use tools like CMake and the Makefile to be able to manage these better. And Eclipse, whilst it can be more resource hungry, which might affect performance on less powerful machines, if you've got a fairly powerful or at least a middle of the range machine, you shouldn't notice any lagging issues, but it is something to bear in mind. So whilst it's open source and free and really powerful and customized, there can be some reports of it being a bit resource intensive and that might make your machine feel like it's being a bit sluggish. So that's something to bear in mind when you're test running it and choosing the best IDE for your C++ development. With that being said, this makes a great segue to a lightweight option. So let's talk about VS Code. Now, VS Code is my favorite IDE in general. And whilst it's not really an IDE and it's more of a code editor, I just think it's a fantastic little program. It's free, it's lightweight, it's versatile, it's extensible, it's cross-platform. 
really what's what's not to love about VS Code? It's basically got everything that you need. Now, whilst it may not be the best choice for a really serious and a pro development team, I think for beginners and for students, for people who are looking for something free to get used to coding in C++, it's also a fantastic first choice. Now, one of the great things, as I mentioned, is that you can install extensions. So you'd have to install the C++ extension from Microsoft for IntelliSense, and that gives you debugging and code browsing, which is really important. And because it's a lightweight IDE, you can customize it with a variety of extensions without really bogging down the system or bogging down the program. It should never get too laggy. So you can really set it up to tailor make it for your own needs. And you can also use it for versatile, versatile languages, which means that if you're coding in C++, you might also need to code in another language. Say you're a student, for instance, you might want to code in C++ and Java and PHP and Python. You can do all of this in the one IDE, which is really helpful. Of course, most IDEs do offer something like this. The VS Code is basically a jack of all trades, which makes it great for people who are still figuring out where they want to go. And the cross-platform capabilities are fantastic. You can use it on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You are not tied down by your OS. And if you do switch to a different OS at any point, the experience will be very similar. Now, again, while VS Code is my personal favorite in general, it may not be the best choice if you want something specific for C++. So you might find yourself leaning toward Visual Studio rather than VS Code or even C Lion, depending on what you think makes the most sense. And again, it might be determined by your company or your project needs. So bear that in mind when you're considering which C++ IDE to pick. Now, I've mentioned cross-platform capability, but why don't we talk about something that's specific for Mac? We have Visual Studio, which is great for Windows. What do we have for Mac users that's very specific? Well, the obvious option is Xcode. If you've heard of Xcode, it's really helpful if you're developing Mac apps. So maybe you want to develop apps for the Mac OS or the Watch OS or iOS or iPad OS. Xcode is where you would go to do that. That being said, it's also great for developing in C++ on Mac OS. Obviously, it's tightly integrated with the Mac OS and the Apple development tools, which makes it a great choice if you are a Mac user. You get full support for C++ development, including syntax highlighting, code completion and debugging. And it's also really useful if you are working on iOS projects, as it supports Swift and Objective-C alongside C++. So if you do fancy yourself as a Mac OS or an app developer in the Mac ecosystem, and you want to use C++ in some capacity, Xcode could be a really good choice for you if you're a Mac user. So I definitely keep that in mind when choosing the right option for your own needs. Now, I think to wrap things up, we should make one mention of the future development and specifically the integration of AI. Now, You've probably noticed, as we all have, that AI is certainly everywhere. It's infiltrated every industry and every sector, and AI is essentially revolutionizing many different industries, including development. Whether you're working in C++ or PHP or Python, AI is everywhere. And when it comes to developing, what we're seeing now is the rise of AI coding systems or AI pair programs. And these are tools like GitHub Copilot, or Amazon Code Whisperer, or Tab9 that we can utilize as plugins, a bit like you'd have a plugin in your browser, but it's a plugin or an extension in our IDE. And this offers a really incredible uplift in our productivity as a developer. You know, this can offer auto completion on another level. You could be writing out the beginning of a function definition and it will flesh out the entire function for you by inferring what it is that you need. Or you can write natural language comments and ask what you'd like it to do and it will generate the code. This is like having an assistant or a pair program that you can use to do some of the boilerplate and the less interesting works. So you can focus on the more complex tasks at hand. And in my mind, keeping an eye on choosing an IDE that has support for these tools makes sense now because I do really believe that in the future we'll all be using these day to day and you want to be comfortable in an IDE or in a coding environment that already has support for that so you haven't got to switch it up at the last minute. If you're really set on using a certain environment which doesn't have support for AI tools like that, you may find yourself having to abandon it and jumping onto a new IDE environment later. So I think something like Visual Studio which supports GitHub Copilot and other AI tools or C Lion or VS Code, they're fantastic choices because they're future proof. You can invest your time in getting comfortable with these environments and know that you're not going to have to suddenly drop them and choose something else because you now need to use an AI coding assistant. So be a long term thinker, think about the fact that the future is going in that direction. And I think it can help to really focus on choosing an IDE that do, does that for you. Of course, there is no one size fits all solution. I'd highly recommend trying out various C++ IDEs and seeing which one feels the best for you and which one really complements your workflow. And by all means, you can always change your mind later. And that's all for me from this video. I hope you found this interesting. I'd be really interested to hear what you have to say about it all yourself. And I hope you have fun coding in C++ in whichever IDE you choose to do that in.